Hello friends and welcome to another video. Now, how many tracks do you need to have online before you start in to earn money? I get this question quite often. In fact, there is no right answer to this. How many tracks can you actually have on certain libraries before you start earning money? There is no right answer to this. It's like asking how many kilos can you lose if you start dieting and working out? It really depends on the person. It's so, so personal really. The best way that you can do this or the best way that you can approach this is by having a goal for the income. I've mentioned about this before that my goal was to earn $300 a month. I didn't know if that was going to happen with two tracks or a hundred tracks. I had no idea. But because I am making music, I was just concerned with the next music track, the next composition. And yes, aiming for that goal. It's the same when I go to the gym. It's like, yes, I want to look as, as pump as possible. And I want to have my six pack apps and all of that. And I don't know how long it's going to take. It's probably going to take longer than I expected. And that's for sure. Uh, but I need to have everything in place, right? Like have my diet in, in place, uh, good sleep, workout, uh, many things in place. When it comes down to music licensing and to stock libraries, it's the same thing. Are we composing the, the right music track? Uh, is it properly mixed and mastered? I mean, even if it passes the review process, will it sell? That's the next question. Because a lot of people get concerned with, with the review and, and getting accepted. But the next thing is like, will it sell? Will somebody actually pay for it? And, and I've been there. I mean, back in the day, I was just, at some point, I got, got so many rejections that I was composing music for the reviewer. So I felt like I was composing music for the reviewer and I, and I forgot that the music track was going to be for someone else's project. But I was composing from a place of fear, right? Because I said like, well, I, I need to get past the review process in order to make the sell. But I got so caught up in my own head thinking about the reviewer. So I think if you're asking that question, you're asking the wrong question. The question should be, what music track are you working on right now? I'm always aiming for the next track. I'm always looking for the next melody, the next piece of music, even though it could sound very similar to my last composition. But then again, that's what artists do all the time. I mean, if you go and buy an ACDC album, and even if they have released a new album, you expect to hear ACD, ACDC music, okay? It better be the same. The same goes with Metallica and various other uh, Artists. I'm only mentioning here rock bands because I come from a rock and roll background. Doesn't mean that you cannot experiment, of course, you know, if you're the Beatles or Pink Floyd or whatever. Uh, but for us that do music for licensing, uh, I have a certain blueprint for, for music licensing and for music composition for licensing for that matter. If it's a rock track, for example, I might have like a, like a drum loop or something that I'm working on. And I say like, that's a really good drum. So maybe I can just jam on it. It really depends, but I'm always aiming for those three elements, which is the part of the composition, right? The melody, the chord progression, and the rhythm. If I can have those three elements, regardless of the genre, then that's a starting point for me to compose music. And the next question is, how is this gonna serve somebody else's project? Where is this gonna be? Uh, where, where do I see this music track being used? So even though we have the income goals, even though we want to earn the money with the music, we still have to compose music all the time. It's not about having a lot of income with very little music. It's about how many tracks can you actually produce? Okay, so it's about volume. It's not about quality over quantity, okay? It's not, I've talked about this before. You cannot get to the quality without having the quantity. In fact, you should have both. You need to get rid of your bad ideas. And for you right now, your best composition could be your, your worst idea. You just don't know it yet because you haven't written enough. So in order to get to a full-time income or even to an income that you are aspiring to have with stock libraries, you need to record a lot of music. At least that was in my case. And I'm still working on my craft. I mean, I don't have the, the amount of tracks that I want to have out there. I don't. I, and I have put it out there. I want to have a, at least 5,000 tracks online. And at the moment, I don't even have 1,000. Okay? So for me, it's a goal of music tracks. And I already make a full-time income with my music. 
I don't remember how how much how many music tracks I have at the time. And it's one of the things, like I mentioned to you, that I, I regret not documenting this process from day one uh, because uh, it would have been nice to just say, hey, I uploaded my first track, nothing is happening, and then I got my first sale, but I didn't document this process here on the channel, unfortunately, you know? But it is about volume. How much tracks can you put out there? And I don't remember how many I had at the time. I was lucky enough to have one of my tracks featured on a particular library and it was on the front page for, for a few weeks and that really helped with sales. And I didn't have that many tracks at the time. But it, it was good days actually. You know, a little bit of luck, a little bit of determination and, and hard work, anything is possible. Just keep writing music. The reason why we do this is because we love to compose music and we like to write music. So have the income goals, have that there, but at the same time, always compose music. Don't aim for a shortcut, you know? Anything in life, it requires a lot of work and it's better to be prepared to do that and do that extra rep in order to achieve your goal. At least that's my mindset. I hope this video helps helps you, my friend, with this. I know it's not the right thing that you want to listen to. You probably want to listen to like, hey, if you have only 10 tracks, you will probably start earning money with your music. But unfortunately, that's not true for everybody. Okay, so it's all about having fun in the process of achieving our goals and you will definitely get there. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And I'll see you in another video, my friend.